Welcome to The Lift with Sheila Robinson Kiss. Come on in. There's always a special place set aside for you here where you can relax, kick up your heels, pour yourself a nice refreshing drink, and prepare to be lifted and soar. so much and welcome back. Uh, Facebook, the ultimate experiment. Before I tell you a little bit more about the experiment, I want to say out of the gate that Facebook is a brilliant platform. I think so many people are being helped and connected each and every day and for that I think the world should be grateful. Uh, but I'm making this video because there is a silent epidemic uh, that is unfolding and a multitude of people have, have reached out to me uh, because they have fallen into despair uh, and depression uh, by sitting on Facebook and comparing and contrasting their lives to friends, uh, family, strangers. And when I say despair and depression, I don't mean something that just breezes by and they quickly feel good again. You know, these are issues that really take hold and sometimes require uh, therapy, uh, medication. So I, I really felt like it was time to to make this this video. You know, in, in nearly 20 years of um, service as a therapist, uh, speaker, and, and helper. Um, I've had hundreds, uh, even thousands of conversations with uh, men, women, adolescent over the years, um, just about life and what they're going through. And, and one uh, common denominator that I found very often is this, this need and desire to um, measure our lives um, and compare and contrast with what's going on with other folks. And what's most frightening about that is the measuring stick that many people use. And, and Facebook, for better or worse, has become a huge measuring stick in terms of how people view uh, their own lives and, and what's happening or what's not happening. So this is where my little experiment um, came in. Uh, four years ago, I started um, quietly making observations between what people would report to me in, in real life conversations and, and what they were posting up on Facebook. And I have to tell you that the results were stunning. I, I did not, I, I wanted to bring this out a couple years ago, but then things got a little interesting. So I said, you know what, wait, let me just see if this is a constant trend that holds up over time. And, and what I found was that in over 90% of the cases, there wasn't uh, a small discrepancies. Uh, there were often major discrepancies in what was reported on Facebook and what was reported in, in real life uh, conversations. And, you know, some of it uh, boiled down to just blatant distortion of fact, which uh, pure, pure fabrications of, of the circumstance. You know, I've, I've had uh, an opportunity to, to really share some in, intense moments with folks over the years and it's, it's an honor. I do consider myself to be um, a safe space for, for lots of people and that's why this topic impacted me on a personal level because I see the pain and angst that that is caused by this comparing and contrasting and i think if people have a real idea of what's really going on it will alleviate some of that uh immediately i want you to know that i'm going to share with you um some some facebook posts 
as well as the true statements that were made to me in real time conversations. I have changed all the identifying information so it will be impossible for anyone to, to pinpoint uh, in what region of the world or any particular individual that I'm referring to, but I really want you to catch the spirit of, of the Grand Canyon of, of, of distance <laughs> between uh, what, what was reported and posted on Facebook for all the world to see and, and, and what, uh, what was said and shared in real, real time conversation. So here we go. Um, po uh, Facebook post. I married the great love of my life yesterday. He is more than I dreamed of. This is truly the first day of the rest of my life. Now that was that was a Facebook post from the individual. Now this is what this was the real life admission that my ears heard uh, only two weeks uh, prior to to this blessed event. Real life admission. I have nothing in common with this man and were it not for all the money I put down on the wedding, I would cancel it. So that that's a whole lot different than what was presented to the world. Um, second, this is a totally different individual. This is a new Facebook post. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, you've been there for me through thick and thin and I hope I can be half the mom to my kids that you were to me. Uh, let's take a look at the real life admission uh, that, that occurred within days. Um, no one understands what it's like to have a mother who was drunk or high all the time growing up. I can't stand the sound of her voice. So there, there we go again, second Grand Canyon. Okay, this is uh, another individual, another Facebook post. Having dinner at Charlie's Steakhouse, the view from the top is amazing. Okay, now we're gonna break it down to the real life admission that these ears heard. I'm going broke and I've tapped everyone I know for loans. I can't even say I'm living check to check. There is no check. All right, it gets more interesting. New individual, new post. Had I known motherhood would be this wonderful, I would have had 20 kids by now. I'm in heaven. Okay, this is someone uh, that I had a conversation with about postpartum depression. This was the real life admission. I'm not connecting with my baby on any level. I feel nothing when I hold him. Okay, let's move on. Another Facebook post, another person. This was a post to a significant other. Thanks for always making me feel beautiful. I love that I can be myself with you. Okay, real life admission. And this is someone who was very much struggling with herself and her relationship. I hate having sex with him. He comments on every inch of my body like he's doing an autopsy. I don't even eat the day before we have sex, so my stomach will be flat. Okay, interesting. We only got a couple more here, but I'm, I'm sharing several so I can hit this point home. Uh, Facebook post, another individual. Headed to my dream job to help those who can't help themselves. It doesn't get any better than this. Real life admission. This is someone who was completely burned out with her work. I hate my work. I'm totally burned out and I can barely stand to look at the families I work with. Interesting. And this is the last Facebook post by a different individual. Enjoying my eighth wedding anniversary with the only woman in the world for me. Real life admission. I love men. I always have and I always will. I don't see a way to tell her without destroying my life and destroying the people in it. 
Now, I, I just gave you a, a, a lot to take in with these Facebook posts compared to, to the real admissions. And I'm sure that um, I, I hit my point home adequately. Folks, there, there are lies that people tell and there are damned lies. There are a lot of damn lies, with all due respect, um, being posted on Facebook. And I think it's really important that you understand more about the nature of um, how people use um, th this tool. I want you to imagine this as life marketing or propaganda, if you will. Uh, these are campaigns for individual lives. And, and they really can be um, misleading. Uh, it, when you think about uh, going to the mall and what, what do you see in the window? You see the most fashionable items. You see the best display. Um, they don't put out the torn, tattered, and return items. And, and nor should they. Uh, I'm simply saying that you need to understand when you are on Facebook and these feelings of jealousy or sadness come over you that there is a front stage and there is also a backstage. And you have no business comparing your life to someone's commercial. I'm not saying that uh, people don't post uh, awesome moments that are true, real, and relevant. Uh, again, I, I found uh, in, in over 90% of the cases, uh, at least that, that I was dealing with, there was a discrepancy. That's not to say that there's not just um, amazing uh, people walking in truth and, and posting that in. Um, but I think it's important for you to know uh, the underbelly of what goes on too. Um, I have had the opportunity to be positioned in a certain way in terms of uh, how people seek me out and how I'm positioned in their lives. So uh, people in safe space do reveal uh, their, their truths. What they reveal to the world um, can be very different. So why do people post uh, to Facebook anyway. What are some of the motivations? Like I said, sometimes it's purely to to share little uh, bits and snippets of their lives. Some people do it for validation. Some people do it for acceptance. Um, some people do it for ego boost. Other people just use the platform in an abusive way um, for pure revenge or little little snippets um, here and there. You know, I, I will confess, I have to raise my hand. Uh, a couple years ago, I, I post a Facebook uh, in, infrequently, but I had a personal victory and there was someone in my life who, to who told me to my face, uh, this is never going to happen for you. You are not going to achieve this dream and goal. And I, I, I cannot tell a lie. Um, I, I did post when this magical moment happened for one reason and one reason only. I knew this individual would see the post and it's like, ha ha, you know, I got you now. And uh, again, I, I have to keep it real with you. I was delighted. I was delighted to do it. And, and that did serve as, as a sense of um, validation for me. And it was just uh, kind of a little bit of closure. So, you know, I, I share because I just want you to understand there there's, can be multiple motivations in posting. Um, I want you to keep posting, keep enjoying Facebook. Um, it's, it's wonderful to share and shine on this platform, but you, you really want to keep it in perspective as you're doing that. Uh, we don't talk enough in this lifetime of, of what it means to be human. And what it means to be human is to have incredible highs, gut-wrenching lows, everything in between. You will make friends, you will lose friends, you will fall deeply in love, you will be dumped, you will gain fortunes, you will go broke, you'll make a fool out of yourself, and then you will blossom into something magnificent. So it all falls on a continuum. And the, your ultimate thumbs up is not gonna come from the Facebook thumbs up. The ultimate thumbs up comes to the individuals who manage all of that, all of that beauty and chaos 
with commitment, with grace, and with an unwavering class. So I want you to set your goal to live your life on your terms, um, not through the lens of someone else's perspective. Uh, I could go on and on on this topic, but I just wanted to share and give you a little uh, snippet and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.